Today, if you've ever wondered how to make the easiest, tastiest cinnamon scroll, look no further. We're going to make it even better than what you've probably had or whatever we can buy in the shop. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I've got a lot of tips, tricks and hacks that I really want to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. Regardless of your skill level, you can make it at home. You yourself, I'm talking to you right now. The recipe starts with a yeasted base dough. So stick your finger in. If it feels like nothing, that's the perfect temperature for our liquid. I've always gone for the tablespoon method. It's a tablespoon of yeast, as well as a tablespoon of white sugar. Mix that around, wait 10 minutes, and I'll see you then. I've got my all-purpose container, Go Pilot container. Softened butter goes in. And we're making the filling. And that's butter, cinnamon. All measurements will be in the description. If it's not there, comment down below. Hey Matt, I don't have the description measurements. Please, I need it, I wanna make it. Here's another tip for you. <laughs> make this for your lady, or any girl that you're interested in. Bro. You got them, just like that. It's hot today, so the butter's pretty soft, but please take the butter out at least 20 minutes before you start. And so that's our butter, that's how it looks like. And our brown sugar. Guys, we're going to the point in the video where I need you to double check if you've really liked the video and are subscribed because it really helps me so much more than you realize. Something with the robot, the YouTube algorithm, shows it to more people. Our cinnamon butter filling is done. We can just chuck this to the side. It's part of my goal to get everyone that wants to follow me, subscribe and support to start cooking unhinged. Literally follow your intuition and make food however you want to make it. A little bit of butter. We're gonna melt this in the microwave, so go on with all of that butter and mix it in. Here's my dry ingredients. That's already been pre-measured out. Ah, now we just kick back. 10, 15 minutes is all it needs. If you wanna go 15, go 15. If you wanna go 10, you go 10. It doesn't make that much of a difference. But pretty much what I'm doing is I've rolled it into a ball, chuck it, directly back into our bowl, top side up, the bowl, wet tea towel, and then a dinner plate. Chuck that on top. Put this in a warm place in your house, and then come back in an hour. If it's cold, do it for an hour and a half, or a good trick is, chuck in the oven with the light on. Cinnabon NZ. That's Cinnabon, not Cinnabon. This is our dough. This is exactly what it looks like. Aim for double in size, triple is better. First step is we need to punch all the air out. Let that deflate. The dough should be at a low enough hydration where we can just pick it up with our hands. Just like that. And not much will be left in the bowl. This is what my dough looks like. The bloody flat screen TV. When you have the dough after it's rest, the top is non-stick, the bottom sticky, the sticky side is up, and the non-stick side is on the bench, and we'll be able to roll it out easy as. All my homemade cinnamon butter goes on top. And guys, we're not skimping. Make sure the cinnamon butter is soft, so it can spread around everywhere, spread around all, all the edges. Shout out to Timu, use this on the Vegemite scroll recipe, work to treat. Now it's back for the cinnamon roll recipe. I think I've found like a pretty good experience with myself making YouTube videos. Not only do I feel happier, it's less of a like a rushy process. You tell me if you're watching anything cooking related on a short video platform, are you investing anything more than like a 45 seconds on it? And the answer is just no. Right, just roll. Just roll, there's no rules, just roll. Roll it over the top of each other. And the only thing is we want our corners. So you see the corners. We want our corners rolling over the top of each other. So then I start with the corners and then I make my way into the middle. Slowly but surely, don't worry. Was it, if you're celebrating anything in life, like you got a job promotion or you graduated something, blah, blah, blah even like a new job, even just another day living. <laughs> a cinnamon scroll is exactly what you need. Now we're sealing it, so pinch, 
pinch and roll, pinch and roll, pinch and roll. I feel like uh, cinnamon rolls are like an autumn thing. So if you guys want to make this for Thanksgiving, hit it up, man. We got the same scroll hack, get your piece of floss. If you haven't seen the Vegemite scrolls or you don't know what Vegemite is, I invite you to have a look on screen. It will be on the screen. We get Vegemite scrolls looking like this and cinnamon scrolls. Look at that. That shit is perfect. All right, guys, take your time. Take your time because I can feel myself rushing. Here's what they look like pre, pre-proof, pre-oven. They all look pretty uniform, eh? like they're part of the same team. All right, once they covered, give them 30 minutes. Our rolls are proofing. We're almost there. I can taste the cinnamon rolls already. I'm gonna share yet another hack how to make the easiest glaze. We don't even have to think about it. That's how easy it is. I don't even have to try. I mean, wrong. That's arrogant. Just kick back and watch the easiest icing. <laughs> Butter, icing sugar goes in. It's softened butter, and we're mixing it within the icing sugar to create our glaze. Add hot milk. Start off with two tablespoons, and then gradually add more. I've got three tablespoons there, but look. This is me, you're you. If you want like a thinner glaze or a thicker glaze, all you need to do is add more icing sugar to make it thicker, add more milk to make it thinner. The, the glaze you'll actually wish that you've made like way more than you originally did so don't be afraid to really give it a little bit we're gonna add vanilla probably a tablespoon sea salt i'm gonna say like a strong pinch it boosts everything up so salt becomes like the foundation and then it like punches the vanilla it punches the sweetness and it just becomes as close to crack as we can without actually give it a taste. Oh my god. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like white chocolate. Yeah, like Milky Bar. It's got me salivating. This is going in the oven 180 for 20 minutes. Have a look at our delicious titty buns. Look at that. Titty buns filled with cinnamon. In you go, 20 minutes. See you the fuck later. Make sure you have everything ready, which is just this delicious glaze. And set your timer. Hey Siri, timer 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Easy as there, catch you in 20. Slightly cool down scrolls. Generous tablespoon on top of each of them. And then using the back of the spoon, we're just spreading around the top. So using the same shape, we're doing the same motion for the same shape. It smells like, oh, this smells like uh, something from my childhood. What was it? Was it cookies? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. When I was little, this reminds me of um, my mum making cupcakes. The same smell. Wow, that's trippy. The whole recipe's been so defined and refined. When it comes to the glaze, this is when we just get messy with it. You don't have to think too much. You can just chuck it on, spread it around, let it wallow in the glaze because it's just more flavor, more deliciousness, more vibes, more fun. And then this is the finished product. Our cinnamon rolls, all glazed, deliciously glazed. I mean, that's another recipe done for me. This is how my cinnamon is looking. I mean, soft spongy cinnamon butter all over and i think it's just a necessity how you need to have not only the glaze be sloppy as hell but the cinnamon butter inside and let's unwrap our cinnamon scroll done a pretty good job at rolling this up can i do the whole thing oh my god that's the whole thing there's a whole thing unraveled. <laughs> this is my piece. All the supportive and encouraging comments help a ton. Uh, it's actually, actually incredible how much it actually helps. Like it totally makes my day. I hope you find a lot of value within this recipe. Make it for your family, 
friends, lovers, or loved ones. Make sure you like the video, ah sub up, and this buy is for each and every single one of you supporting my journey. Oh my god. That's a warm embrace. <laughs> the vanilla glaze just ties everything together. The cinnamon butter is so aromatic and delicious. But you need the bun to be fluffy and somewhat warm. It's still a little bit warm, but I wonder if you guys can see that. I seriously got lost on a trance there. They genuinely that good. I heavily encourage you to make it for Thanksgiving, birthdays, Christmas, for friends, family, loved ones, or lovers. Share the recipe around. Do all those beautiful things to help me get recognized by more people. And we're just going to grow this thing until it gets out of control.